When creating an avatar for APS, it's sometimes important to check that the FBX is in the correct orientation before importing it to Unity. So as you can see here, this avatar is actually facing along the X axis, which is not preferred. In most cases, it's preferred to use the Y negative axis. So as seen here in these three avatars, all facing along the Y negative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to rotate this armature, which actually looks pretty rough right now, but that's just because of the way I imported it. So starting from a blank project, I'm just gonna delete the scene, go to import FBX and import that FBX. But before I do that, um, I'm gonna set the options here under armature for force connect children and automatic bone orientation. So importing the FBX. Now it's still facing along the X axis, which is not going to work for Unity. So what we have to do is rotate the entire armature and reset the pose so that's facing along the Y negative, as you can see here. So clear all it just resets right back. So what we actually have to do is apply the pose as the rest pose, but that's not as straightforward as it seems either. So for example, if I rotate this along the Y negative and then hit control A and apply the pose as a rest pose, it now looks really off. Starting from the default orientation, what I'm gonna do is actually rotate the armature in pose mode. Okay, so just be sure to do this in pose mode. Rotate the armature along the Y negative. Next, go to your modifiers. So under the mesh, I'm sorry. So selecting the mesh now under the modifiers, what you wanna do is make a duplicate of the armature modifier and then apply it. Then back in pose mode, apply the rotation to the armature and that's it so if you have multiple meshes you'd have to do that for each mesh but it's basically that's the pattern after that you can save and export and then you can build it as a avatar for unity or for aps so here I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to use Unity 2019. I'm going to call this SDK. Okay, now that the new project is loaded, uh, first thing I want to do is import the, the newly exported avatar into the new project and set it as a humanoid. Okay, next I wanna import the APS SDK. So I'm just gonna take the latest APS SDK version 371 and drop it into the project and import. Once that is completed, you should now see a new menu here. Um, you can just verify that everything installed correctly. I want to actually place the avatar into the scene. So I'm going to drag the avatar into the scene, add an APS SDK. Press the build avatar from FBX button. Okay, once that's completed, you should now see the new output folder here containing the thumbnails, the original model, and the new avatar asset. Just to ensure that everything worked, uh, it's important to press the play button after building each avatar. So checking the idle animation, it looks correct. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna add the HMDI target and just get that aligned correctly. A rough alignment is all that's necessary. It's really not critical. After setting the eye target, press the rebuild avatar asset just to apply the changes. Okay, so now that you have the output folder with the uh, updated avatar, the next step is to place that in the assets folder for APS. So up here in the APS SDK under folders, select the VR mocap assets 
drop down and just copy this copy the the avatar that we just created into the VR mocap assets folder so now you should see that avatar here with all of the other avatars okay and that's pretty much it start APS and select the avatar okay so now it's saying new avatar uh, just set up the profile there's not much to do I found that with this avatar it was kind of important to turn the spine up a bit and I think that was it so let me go ahead and do a quick motion capture and see how it works. This recording that I just created, and I'm gonna go ahead and export that to Blender. So under the menu, just click export, give it a folder name and press build. Okay, this is the new uh, output folder that contains the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the scene loader. And in the scene loader here, you see the new script. Uh, just press run. And that's it. So there's the avatar. Now there is some motion capture here. 